earlier video we have drawn pentagon by using the generalized method and we are considering the side as 50 mm now with the same set of procedure how we are going to draw the remaining hexagon heptagon octagon by using a generalized method so up to here in the earlier video we have seen it you can find that earlier video in the link description okay now so i have said that from 4 to a if i draw a circle it will give me a square from 5 to a if i draw a circle it will give me a pentagon now i will draw i will take the radius from 6 to a and i will go, draw a circle so with the radius as 6 to a I will draw a circle like this and the remaining procedure will be common now take the distance from a to b okay on the compass fix the length of the compass from a to b with the center as b and with the center as b and radius as a b cut an arc on the green circle because green circle is the circle which we are using for heptagon so cut an arc here and the next again from this particular point cut an arc here with the same radius again from this particular point cut an arc here with the same radius again from this particular point cut an arc here so totally we have got six points one two three four five and six points now this six points i have to join the lines like the first line will be from b to this point next from this point to this point again from this point to this point again from this point to this point again from this point to this point thus we will get a complete hexagon okay we can able to see a hexagon shape here next next thing is whatever the distance is there from 5 to 6 the exact distance we have to replicate on the top surface we will get the point as 7 ok now with 7 as a center and the length as a 7 to a as we will considering the radius as 7 with the center 7 draw a circle draw a circle now this orange color circle is called is the circle for heptagon that is heptagon is a polygon which consisting of seven sides okay now repeat the same procedure again take the distance from a to b okay on the compass take the distance from a to b and try to make the arc cutting on this yellow color circle so now i am doing it so from b as a center i'll cut an arc here Again from this one as a center with radius AB I will cut here and again with center as this one I will get an arc here again with this one as a center I can get a arc here again with this one I can get an arc here now you count it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so on a circle we have got 7 points so 7 points I can able to represent it as a heptagon now join the lines from B to this point, next this point to this point, this point to next point and again next point and again one more point and again finally to the A so that we will get this as a heptagon. Now for octagon what we need to do? Again we take the distance from 6 to 7 and again we will measure it towards the upside like we will get a point called as 8 ok now with the center as a length as 8a means the radius length as 8a draw a circle draw a circle so again we will repeat the same procedure distance from a to b cut an arc here on the last circle octagon circle ok this brown color is a octagon circle same similarly second point third point fourth point fifth point sixth point seventh point and eighth point so eight points are there with us we will get an 
octagon now what we will do we will try to connect the lines from a to b next b to c next c to d next d to e next e to f next f to g so like that we are going to connect the arcs like this we are connecting the arcs thus we will get a entire octagon so how many figures we have drawn here the first one is a pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon if we need nine go for locating the nine point take the radius as 9a draw it and this is the procedure for general method in most of the exams they will try to ask general method so this is the procedure for general method 